it's as big as my head and this is my twin you guys <laughs> It's Evie and how are you guys today? I hope you guys are feeling good and amazing because I'm feeling amazing myself. Thanks for asking. Um, but anyways, I am so, so excited to share with you guys my thrifted haul. It's not big or anything, but I feel like these are probably some of the best finds that I found to date. I'm serious and I'm not even kidding. I'm so excited to share these with you guys. So let's just jump right into this haul. So the first piece that I want to share with you guys is this beautiful table runner by Pottery Barn. It's in this amazing ivory color, which I've never seen before. Then again, I don't shop at Pottery Barn, so... <laughs> that explains why but it's so pretty it looks like burlap material however it's not it says that it's a hundred percent knees knaf i'm not too sure what that is whatever the case i love it i love the natural color that it's super light and pretty i also love that it's really wide and long too long for my table but i'll make it work um, and it's in really, really good condition as well for being so old. This was made back in April of 2017. So yeah, they kept it really well, uh, which I love. So I purchased this table runner from the Goa Outlet, which is super amazing because you only pay by the pound and not by individual prices. So I bought this for under $2. Uh, because I bought a bunch of other items on here too. And you guys can see the total is $2. Um, so I'm guessing that this was probably like $1.50 or so. Somewhere around there. Which is still really great. Because these are pretty expensive on the Pottery Barn website. The one that I saw that was very similar to this was $70, you guys. Like, wow. Wow. I cannot afford to pay $70 for a table runner. I wish that I could, but yeah, realistically, no, I can't. So $1.50 is really great in my books. Um, so I highly recommend you guys to check out your thrift stores or especially if you guys have a Google outlet near you, check those places out because you never know what you'll find in there especially when it comes to name brand items. So my next group of items are also from the Goa outlet, but on a different day. Yes, I do shop there quite often. Um, but anyways, I found these super gorgeous boho pants. You guys look how gorgeous they are and they are in like pristine condition, perfectly new. They look new. I don't know if these were like new and made recently and they just gave it away or somebody owned it for a couple of years and decided to thrift and decided to uh, donate them. I don't know, but I love them. I love them. Um, it does say that they're a dollar, but I got them at the outlet for way less than that, you guys. I have the receipt right here. If you look at the top, it says 45 cents. Yes, I bought books here. <laughs> 45 cents for these four amazing boho fans. And I did search them up online. Some people are selling them for $7, $30. And oh my God, so crazy. And I'm just like, wow, for what? And I have four. <laughs> I have four of these. But yeah, I'm so happy I found these because I've been trying to transition towards more boho or more like a mix of boho and farmhouse and not just strictly farmhouse i love farmhouse there's nothing against farmhouse but i feel like i've been doing farmhouse for so many years now that i'm ready for a change i like to change things up once in a while so boho is the next style that i'm trying to get into and i think these fans will really help transition that and make my home look more boho at least I'm trying to. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just so excited that I found these beautiful, beautiful fans. Before I move on and show you guys some more of my goodies, I wanted to mention that this video is actually in collaboration with a bunch of my amazing friends here on YouTube. And this collaboration is called This Is My Thing, where we come and show you guys what we love to do. 
in my past videos, I shared DIYs, thrifting, and even decorate with me. Um, so for today, I'm sharing my thrift haul because I love thrifting and I love home decor. So it's like best of both worlds. So this is an open collaboration for anybody to join. We do this every single month on the last Monday of the month. So if you guys are interested, then message Maria for more details. So like I mentioned, there's a lot of us participating in this collaboration. And so there is a playlist with all of our videos together. So it's easier to access and find. I'll have that playlist linked down below for you guys. So definitely go and check it out. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get back into this haul. My next group of items are from the same store. And it's one of my favorite store here in Hickory. And it's called Safe Harbors Resource Warehouse. I love it here they have such a huge selection and you just never know what you'll find so if you guys do live near the hickory area highly recommend you guys to check it out if you haven't heard of it or seen it before you will definitely want to i did do a video of that store if you guys are interested in seeing how it looks like i'll link that video for you guys in my description box and as well as above on those cards so the first item that I purchased from that store is this beautiful vase and it was only $3, super, super affordable. It's not too small or too big. It's a really good size. <laughs> it's as big as my head. This is my twin, you guys. <laughs> um, anyways, I just really love the shape and size of it. That's why I grabbed it. I'm not too keen on the color. I don't know if it will work with my other decors. I'll try it as is, and then if it doesn't, I'll probably just redo it. Not too big of a deal to uh, change up the color. So yeah, I'm just really happy that I found a good size uh, vase that I can add into my home. My next two pieces, oh my gosh, you guys will not believe what I found. I found two super beautiful African pottery. Yes, you guys, these are African pottery. I've never seen African pottery in person before. And oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. Look at the detailing. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Like, wow. Seriously, when I saw them in the store, I was just walking down the aisle and then I spotted them. And then I looked at the sign, it said African pottery, my jaws, I don't have more than one jaw. My jaw literally dropped. I'm like, what? Are you serious? These are gorgeous. I've been looking for some really pretty pottery like these and I just stumble upon them. This little one is $7.99 and I have a bigger one with the handle and this one is $9.99 amazing prices i don't know how much they go for but i think these are just so amazing for the price that i got them for um so we'll talk about this little one first uh, like i said it was 7.99 for it and i just love the detailing i love the mesh of the colors the earth tone colors i love it love it it's so beautiful um and it's like so nice adding unique pieces that definitely stand out when people come over and it's definitely a showstopper for sure so this other one the bigger one here uh 9.99 beautiful beautiful work on it as well the detailing on top of here is a little bit different from the smaller one as you guys can see but still both so beautiful. I love this little handle, it's so cute. I love anything with handles. Um, and the inside is nicely done. So yeah, you guys, I just love these. Very similar, but very different. I love that these are unique, handmade, African pottery, one of a kind, something that you wouldn't find in anybody else's home for sure. Um, but yeah, I think that it's just so nice to have these really unique pieces in your home. Definitely gives your home a little bit more of that high-end feel. 
give it that ornate feel to. Is it ornate the right word? But it just gives your home a little bit more character. And that's kind of what I want to do too. You, yeah, I, I know you guys, I'm blending so many styles um, into my home, but I feel like this can definitely be boho, definitely be farmhouse too. The colors are very natural and pretty and they're not really hard to style with too. You can just style them as is together. You can add a little bit more decor to it, uh, but you don't need much because they're just already so beautiful. So you can leave them as is and let them shine. So my last two thrifted finds are a little bit too big for me to hold it and show it to you guys right here, but you guys can kind of see it. Can you guys see it? Do you guys see it? They're right there. You gotta see it peeking out right there. <laughs> and they are these really beautiful vintage velvet accent chairs that I found on Facebook Marketplace for $50 for the pair. Such a great steal because on the same day, I also saw this listing that somebody else listed theirs for $300. Yes, you guys, very, very similar in style, uh, just a little bit different color, but you know, like it's amazing to see that. Mine are not the cleanest looking right now. It is really dusty. I do gotta clean it, which is perfectly fine. It does not have ribs or stains or anything major that would cause it to be a deal breaker, uh, which I'm really happy about because I plan to actually flip these you guys yes and that's why i showed you guys the 300 dollars listing because potentially i could do that too but i'm not going to list mine for that much um but that just shows that i can do it as well and that is why i bought them in the first place because i knew that these type of chairs people are really looking for them and they will pay a good amount for it if you have really good quality ones and this one is really good it's still in really good shape the cushion is still very firm the fabric still looks really nice like i said there's no rips on it there's no tears which is really great there are a little bit where um the cat kind of scratched it a little bit but i can just clip it off and i don't think anybody's gonna be able to tell um maybe a little bit but not too much so it's still in pretty good shape um so yeah i'm excited to do this <coughs> oh sorry excuse me sorry about that i'm really excited to do this to flip um i've been wanting to do this i know that i've talked about it in previous videos that i really want to flip furniture on the side um especially since we are trying to save up a down payment for our first home so i think that doing this on the side will really help with that so this is my little first uh trial to see how it goes and if i can do it i'm gonna continue doing it and i'll share that with you guys on here as well uh, so you guys can see how that works and if you guys are interested in doing that i am a total newbie at this so if i can do it fingers crossed that i can anybody can as well anyways uh this is it for my video i hope you guys had enjoy seeing all the different things that i thrifted let me know which one is your favorite <sighs> you guys i can't choose a favorite i know i say that quite often whenever i share my hauls but it's true especially with this group of items i really found a lot of amazing pieces that i love absolutely love um so I, I can't choose a favorite, but you guys can. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out the playlist with my other amazing YouTube friends and see what they did for their thing for this month's collaboration. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. And if it inspired you guys to go thrifting, definitely do so. There's no harm in that at all. The only harm is that you'll find amazing savings. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have a blessed and wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in my next one.